Lo-Fi Tano, letter from a fan. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here. The internet's most hydrated music nerd. And it's time for a letter from a fan, as I've already said. Dear Funfetti Egg Taco, I have a question, comment, thing that I would love to hear your answer on in the always so eloquent way you do. Since I have been following your channel for a couple years, I have had a recurring question on my mind that hopefully does not break the fourth wall of your reviewing process too much. Simply put, it is this. Your video descriptions say, y'all know this is just my opinion, right? So, do you ever change your opinion? Would you ever dare express and give examples of records on which you have had an initially negative opinion, but that you afterward, after reviewing them, have come to like or maybe love or even vice versa? Or are you too busy to revisit records you initially hate? Can you speak about the changing of opinion in critic culture? Thank you also for putting me onto great music such as Death Grips, Smile of the Knife, even though I'm Swedish, living in Sweden. Love from Skeleftia J.S. Good letter. Thanks for sending it. Good question. A lot of people ask me this question all the time. I do make reviews on a regular basis. I do review a lot of albums. Some people would even say I review albums very hastily. I do have kind of a schedule and a pace that I like to keep up. And I'm consuming a lot of music throughout the year. And... While I don't really make videos explicitly stating it like, oh, here's a single video, whoa, breaking news, my opinion on this record totally changed. This is something that I regularly and am readily able to admit whenever I do my year-end list for the most part. I mean, throughout those lists, you will find numerous albums that I may have loved or liked throughout the year, and they have grown on me, or albums that I thought initially that would be at the top of the list, maybe end up in the middle of the list, or even at the bottom. One record that I think I reviewed a few years ago that I don't think made it onto my year-end list, even though I did review it very positively, was the, uh, the last Beastie Boys record. Um, and not that I ended up uh, hating it or, or anything like that, just uh, it wasn't as uh, spectacular to me. Um, after repeat listens, you know, from all the months between the time it was released and the time I actually got around to doing my lists. And the reason I feel no shame in sort of admitting that is because, I mean, opinions are not these static things. They're not written in stone. They're not written in religious tomes that we are forever supposed to worship and bow down to and agree with and back, necessarily, for the rest of our lives. Perceptions are based on experience, they're based on things you consume, information that you take in, and the more information you take in and the more experience you have, the more your perception is probably going to change. I just gave the new Swans album a 10 out of 10, but it's not like, just because I gave it a 10 out of 10, life stops right there. You know, I'm going to keep listening to music, I'm going to keep moving along, and maybe several years down the road, there'll be a point when I'm listening to it, and I'm like, ah, this is like a 10 for me, this is like a 10 right now, maybe it's like an 8, maybe it's like a 7, maybe it's like a 9 right now, you know, maybe there's even a some kind of future life path where... I take it and I just hate that record down the road. Am I going to be bumping like Death Grips when I'm 80? Maybe yeah, maybe no. But I guarantee even if I still am, I'm probably going to have a different perception or idea as to how that music feels to me or, my, or how that music in, interprets uh, to me. You know? Um, what sort of emotional impact it has on me is most likely going to be different when I'm 80. So, you know, in, in opinion, these reviews that I do, they're just like uh, me trying to put my experience with an album down. An experience that I had with an album 
close to the time of its release, initial release date, and that experience exists within a certain amount of time. Now, currently, I haven't really had a review that I've put out that I loved it, but then all of a sudden, I realized I completely hated it. It's the worst thing in the world. Or an album that I hated it, and I thought it was the worst thing ever. Oh my god. And then after my review, I realized that it was uh, totally for me, and I loved it. Now, of course, these opinion changes happen, but they usually occur prior to the review, because in the midst of the review, I make sure that I'm listening thoroughly, I'm listening numerous times, everything that's occurring is really apparent to me, there's no question in terms of how I feel, and what exactly about the record is making me feel that way. It's not like I just come on camera and I'm like, hey, this record sucks, and I don't know why, I just think it sucks. You know, I'm thinking about what, a bit, what it is about the record that isn't appealing to me. If you're not considering what it is about an album that is making you feel that way, I implore you to listen more and listen deeper and figure it out. Because at the end of that journey and search, you might find out that what you're listening to is actually something that you like, or vice versa. Um, take the new Africa High Tech album, or new in a sense, the last Africa High Tech album. When I first laid ears on that record, I thought it was terrible. However, I didn't review it. I just sort of, you know, let it sit, let it hang back. I revisited it a couple times here and there, and uh, I ended up loving it. And sort of when I figured out how I felt and what was making me feel that way, and I felt that I could explain it and put it into words in a review, then I felt right expressing myself. Sure, initially I didn't like the record, but I didn't listen deeply enough to figure out why I didn't like the album. You know, I knew I didn't like it, but if I can't put into words why, I sort of just back off from it, you know, because there's no worth in just, at least for me anyway, there's no worth in just saying something sucks and not, you know, further explain, I guess. Um, so opinions do change, of course, you know, and, and not even just in, in my review capacity, but there are bands throughout my history that initially I didn't dig, but then later I came to enjoy, and, and vice versa. Not that I have a list hanging off the top of my head right now, but the thing is there doesn't need to be a list, because any bands that are on the hate list or the love list in the future could potentially switch. Because, like I said, opinions are not static things. Just because your opinion is one way doesn't mean it can't change in the future. And just because it changed doesn't mean it changed in the right direction or the direction that it will forever be in. Th who's to say that it couldn't switch back, you know, or just reach some kind of middle ground where you don't love it, you don't hate it, but it's just all right. And there have been plenty of albums that I feel like have slowly made that switch. Maybe some records aren't so awful, but they're just okay to me, or maybe some records aren't amazing, but they're just okay to me, but I kind of feel like that's sort of the natural progression of, of, of some art as it sort of becomes really familiar to you, you know, um, and some albums, I think, sort of rise above that noise and sort of become records that we as, a, as the artistic community uh, kind of come together and agree, oh, this is great, this is sort of with, withstood the test of time, this is what makes great art, this is what makes great music. We remember this as interesting, and this impacted uh, so many artists, and uh, this is an important record to so many people. I think that's great uh, that people still today as a community come together and celebrate music and albums that they think are special. However, you know, um, just remember... Personally, you have your own perception, and it's okay if your perception or your opinion doesn't play into that narrative. You don't have to agree with every single thing the artistic community or sort of, uh, you know, whoever the critics are say is a classic album from whatever year. You know, for sure it can be that, but that doesn't mean you have to love it or follow suit or worship every single thing that the critics or people, music fan at large, music fans at large, sort of tell you that you should. So, opinions are not static things. My opinions change. 
Other people's opinions change, okay? Clearly and obviously, my opinions in a certain video don't change. Once I make a video, that, that opinion is out there. But, you know, that's not me. That's an expression that I made during a certain time. I am a person whose mind is constantly shifting and absorbing and thinking. You know, that opinion is a static thing. And the reason I'm happy to leave an, leave an opinion up or leave a review up, even if I happen to think an album grows on me or wanes on me into the future, is because I think that process is interesting. And all that review is, like I said before, is just a depiction of how I felt within a certain period of time after a certain period of listens in regards to a certain album. Okay? And I think, I think reactions during this period of time in an album's release are significant. They're important. Of course, if an album continues to receive acclaim 10 years down the road, maybe re-reviewing it is in order, because this album has somehow maintained attention, it's impacted people in some kind of significant way, people are still talking about it 10 years post the release, um, and, you know, sort of a, a, a review of an album 20 years down the road, if it's still relevant, might be uh, important. Not just you know, to sort of talk about how great the music is, because even if the music is the same, which it is because it's the same record, it's in a different context at that point. And, and context is so important, so important in artistic reviews, because the context of an album can lead you to interpret or reinterpret what it means, or its significance, or its sound. So don't think of opinions or, you know, sort of perceptions on albums or any kind of art as static, as still. Of course they change. Of course they shift. You can't help it, okay? You can't help it. And there are some people out there who, who can't help it in a sense. They sort of just put themselves into this bubble and believe that, oh, you know, music... Nothing, nothing since the 90s has been good, man. Everything since the 90s has been garbage. I mean, of course people can maintain their opinions in that mindset because they're not exposing themselves to anything new. But if you continue to expose yourself to new things and take in new art and take in new ideas, then your ideas are going to change. You know, that's just the natural progression of things. If you find a way to limit yourself and cut yourself off of new art, and new ideas, then, yeah, you're, you're probably just going to stagnate, you know? And, and then you'll surely be able to only think that this album or that artist is the best and the greatest that there ever was because you're not open to listening to anybody else. So, you know, if you have a healthy taste for art and you are invested in the future of art and you want to see where it's going and you want to see who's coming up over the horizon and you want to see who's going to change the game next and you want to see who's going to make the best rock record or the best house single or the best rap verse or the best classical composition uh, down the road, then yeah, your opinions of the stuff that you have loved up until that point are probably going to change a little bit. You know, you're going to have new favorites. You're going to have new mind-blow moments that are going to, you know, cause this album that just came out to be in, like, your top five of albums of all time, you know? I think that's all i got to say on this. So, again, thank you for the letter. Opinions change. It's just the natural order. Don't sweat it. Just listen to music. Just enjoy it. And just... Be along for the ride. You know? Anthony Fantano. Opinions change forever.